Welcome back. If you watched my video showing you my garden, then you would have seen me picking these beautiful butternut squash. They're from my garden. And the beans and the tomatoes are from my garden. Um, today I'm going to make a butternut squash pie. The butternut squash, they're very hard to peel. So I'm going to go away, peel them, and I'll be right back. After all these years, I've been using a knife to peel the butternut squash. And today I thought to myself, try the potato peeler. And oh my goodness, in no time it was done. Am I the only person that was using a knife? I hope <laughs> if you are, stop using a knife and try the potato peeler. It was so much faster. Anyway, I'm going to scoop, scoop the seeds out and then I'm going to, I'm going to put the butternut squash, the beans and the carrots to cook all in the same pot today. Make it faster and easier. I want to show you everything cooking. It's almost cooked. And you can use, you don't have to cook your butternut squash. You can roast it in the oven, but I'm cooking mine today. And also you can use, also you can use um, pumpkin if you're not a fan of butternut squash. Pumpkin, eggplant, whatever you like. But I'm making my butternut squash pie. And the ingredients is going to be in the description box. And please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I blended three cloves of garlic, one medium regular onion and one medium red onion. the carrots. some corn.
I'm going to add some ground beef. And this is extra lean ground beef. Now I'm going to add some black pepper. Some garlic powder. And a bit of salt. Just a little bit because I did cook the ground beef with a bit of salt. So I'm going to leave this for a few minutes, then I'll be back. So now I'm going to put a layer of butternut squash in the bottom of the dish. And now I'm going to add the ingredients. the stove preheated Now I'm going to put the next layer on. Now I'm spreading the, the, the other layer. And then I'm going to put it in the oven at 360 degrees for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'm going to check it to see if that time is enough or whether I need to leave it in a little longer.
because I cooked the ground beef and the vegetables, 30 minutes was enough in the oven. So it's now 30 minutes I took it out and it looks really, really nice. I'm going to be back in a little while. I'm going to leave it for a few minutes to set so that I can cut it and then I'll show it to you. Now I'm going to cut the butternut squash pie. <laughs> Now the challenge is to take it out. It was a little challenging getting it out of the dish because of our cholesterol level. I don't like to eat a lot of eggs. So it was a little challenging. What you need to do if you're gonna try this recipe is maybe to use an egg and a bit of flour and it may keep it together more but here we go i'm gonna try it and let you know how it tastes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. it tastes really good the carrots the beans the corn the ground beef all the spices everything together tastes really nice please try it also please subscribe to my channel and please send this video to your friends and family and please ask them to do the same. Send it to their friends and family. See you next time.